If you're lucky, Nick Bender might let you touch his hand, the one that touched Peyton Manning. Or maybe not. It's a pretty special hand, after all. It shook the hand of a Hall of Fame quarterback. So, I mean, look, we can't touch. See, sir? You can't touch this hand. No, 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 no. Can't touch this. Nick Bender likes to tease. His sense of humor and a powerful will to live have helped him survive life-threatening, life-changing brain cancer. His family was essential, too, of course. And that visit with Peyton Manning, arranged through the Make-A-Wish Foundation, that didn't hurt a bit. He was just, he was on cloud nine. He said, I, Mom, he's a great guy. And he goes, I'll never wash this hand again. He eventually washed that hand, but it didn't wash away the magic of a visit to Sports Authority Field, a personal meeting with Manning, and seats for the October 5th game against the Arizona Cardinals, a game in which Manning threw his 500th touchdown pass. A huge fan of the Broncos and of Manning, Nick walked away with an autographed ball, an autographed number 18 jersey, and a used Bronco practice jersey. He took away something else, too. As he continues his amazing recovery, Nick Bender will look back on his meeting with Peyton Manning as a source of enduring inspiration. It really lifted his spirits. It made him real happy as a kid. It made him, you know, kind of know that his fight is worth it. It also left him with a hand that he might or might not let you shake. In Spearfish, Kevin Wooster, Kelloland News.